Hey guys, what's up? It's Shaggy, and this is an update video on uh, how to mount your um, Sony action camera to an Empire E-Flex paintball mask. Um, in the last video, I showed you how to do it using the the straps and uh, the attachment that Sony's come out with. Um, at the end of that video, I came up with an idea to just mount this part directly to the mask using uh, a screw that'll fit in here and uh, I just had to find a screw like that and I did I've got one right here now this is um, a screw with the right fret which is long enough for me to uh, to get through the jewel and to mount this uh, this attachment directly onto um, onto the mask now this thread is called BSW one fourth, and I'll put a link in the description um, with its um, you know details and all that. So uh, it's basically quite simple. I wanted to show you guys how to uh, to mount it, but um, the video of that was going to take forever. So instead, I'm just going to tell you what I did. Was I took the jewel and uh, I drilled a hole through it just big enough to um, to fit the um, the screw in and then I kind of sunk it so that the the screw head will sit sort of flush with uh, the back of the jewel and it won't dig into your face after that I took a little uh, piece of rubber cut it down to size to fit inside the jewel and uh, I made a little hole in it to, uh, to stick the screw through. Now, if you put all that together, you'll get something like this, where you've got your, uh, your piece of rubber and your screw uh, attached to the jewel. And then you can just simply um, screw that into this attachment, like so. Just screw it in. Make sure you align it properly with your attachments. And screw this down onto your camera. Like so. Now, this isn't going anywhere. I've got a lot more confidence in this over any um, like glue solution or Velcro or whatever. Now, once you've got all that put together, you can simply reassemble the mask like this and there you go your Sony action camera is now mounted onto uh, your Empire mask and this is as far as I can see the closest you're gonna get to um, to mounting it to your helmet to your mask um, I compared it to the old Contour HD that I used, the system, and it's now about the same uh, as, as for sticking out, you know. So uh, that's good. And um, we've done away completely with uh, this attachment. And once I measured that, I found out that this will save me about well almost 14 millimeters as you can see here so that's almost 1.4 centimeters of um, that, that the camera sticks out less um, as to how it feels on the face if you look on the inside you can tell it's not it's not sticking out it's not going to be digging in your face, and it's by the side of this uh, of this foam right here. So, if I put it on, you know, I can't feel there's anything there. There's nothing digging in my face, even if I like wiggle it around or something. You know, it's not going to be a problem. So, you know, there's obviously no wiggle because it's all just um, screwed down. And then, because of the attachments, you still have the option to rotate and um, move your camera around 
like so, all the way, you know, it's, uh, it's basically, uh, as far as I can tell, the perfect solution. So, um, that's it guys, that's what I'm going to be running with, and um, I'll let you know how it works out. Thank you.